Once all of this COVID stuff is over, do you believe that you'll stick with home workouts instead of going to the gym? It looks like you have found a passion for training at home. What is good people? Right now we are about to do a Q&A. Hopefully it won't be too boring. Also, beer gang update. It's getting a little bit better. This side still needs to fill in. Anyways, question number one. What is the first thing you'll be training when you get back to the gyms? And I think it's gonna be a savage upper body day. It's not gonna be a leg day. My first leg day back, I'm gonna be strategic because the dumbs is gonna be nuts. But yeah, upper body, just everything. Just, just every machine that I've missed. Are you changing your calories at the moment? I'm not tracking calories as it stands. I'm eating very similar to what I normally eat because I've managed to stock up on all the stuff I normally get. I got an order from Muscle Food not too long ago. I've been going to Asda and this Polish store near me which sell meats as well. So in terms of my actual diet, it's very close to what I normally have. The only difference is I'm probably having a bit more snacks than usual, but I've been trying to prioritize like having the low calorie snacks like my jellies. Do you think you can have a proper transformation doing only home workouts? Well, first off, that's a very vague question because it all depends on what you have available and who you are as well, like what position are you in your fitness journey. For example, if you're someone brand new to lifting, hasn't even trained before, you can train at home with like bands or just body weight and still see progress because you're on the beginning scale. Whereas if you've been training for years upon years, and you're downgrading technically just to like using lighter dumbbells, you're not gonna be building more muscle because your progressive overload has just dropped to the ground because you're going backwards. You can try and maintain what you've got, but you're not gonna be building more than when you had a big abundance of weights that you can actually lift and really push it and actually strain your muscles. So for the advanced and intermediate person, you probably may go down, and for the beginner person, you may go up. But also you have to factor in, if you are someone now that has like a massive dope home gym with loads of weights, loads of equipment, you can make gains. Next question is, what are your hobbies aside from fitness? Um, well, a big hobby I used to have was, I used to do a lot of drawing of like Dragon Ball Z and manga cartoons and stuff like that. I used to thoroughly enjoy that. That was actually originally what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a cartoonist and do manga drawings. But somewhere along the way I learned how to use Photoshop and I started doing graphic designs on the computer and I kind of enjoyed that. And I could make more money from it at the time, so I kind of stuck with that. In, in essence, I don't really have crazy mad hobbies. Best one I probably have is I like traveling. I didn't do that much last year. This year was the year that I was going to do more. But obviously, this stuff is just punch that in the gut. If you injured yourself badly, would you go to the A&E at these crazy times? <laughs> Skip. I know it's different for everyone, but how long did it take you to start seeing results in the mirror from when I was cutting? And like, I didn't do my first cut until I had been training for three years. I wasn't high in body fat. So I only lost like 12 pounds. So in the first four weeks, I instantly started seeing definition, especially my upper body. But it's, I don't like really answering those questions because people hear me say that and think they can do the exact same thing. It all depends on your specific starting point. What preparations have you made for the coronavirus? I've been watching nonstop zombie apocalypse type movies. We started watching Walking Dead from the beginning again. I watched I Am Legend. Uh, there was one called Quarantine. There's a few shits that I've been just like, preemptively making sure that I know that I'm ready. This one is a question in regards to social media. How do you pick which sponsors to go for? And honestly, I didn't really think that way. I just put out content and then eventually some companies reached out to me. They only, only work with two actual sponsors. It's Muscle Food and My Protein. Muscle Food, I reached out to them actually like seven years ago now. Uh, in terms of My Protein, there's a whole video on it on my channel. Um, it really comes down to you. You just choose who to work with. For example, I've had many companies have reached out to me to work with them and stuff and I've said no because I just I either don't like the product or I just don't really want to be tied into having to do stuff for them because people feel like sponsors is just like a gift it's not you have to work for the company and you have to see what your contract says for example some people in their contract they have to promote something that they may not ever use because they've given them the product in all my ones I've all I've definitely put down in there like basically I will not promote something that I don't use or don't believe to be good and stuff like that nature. I don't mind experimenting, trying to be new if they ask me, but if I'm adamantly like, nah, I'm not good with it or I don't like it, I don't promote it. That's the kind of groove you want. What goals and visions do you have for your channel and fitness in the future? In regards to fitness, I just want to make my physique as good as I can with minimal strenuous activity. So at the moment, I've been, my physique that I actually am right now, fairly leaner than I've ever been, but with relative ease. It's just been doing more daily steps on my treadmill, 
and trying to somewhat watch what I eat. I still eat like cookies and stuff, but it's just much more balanced approach. I haven't binged in God knows how long. Uh, in terms of the channel, I upload content I feel like you guys will enjoy and when I feel like doing it now. I used to stick to like, I have to upload at least four times a week and that run myself ragged, so I don't do that anymore. See, it all depends, man. I don't really, I try not to try and stress it anymore. Like there was one point in time where I was hoping the YouTube channel would blow to millions and I tried to, which is why I was doing the four videos a week, trying to capitalize. But after years upon years upon years of that not happening, I'm just content with what's going on right now. I do want it to evolve, but I'm not overly stressing it anymore like I used to. Once all of this COVID stuff is over, do you believe that you'll stick with home workouts instead of going to the gym? It looks like you have found a passion for training at home. No, that is a total no. I absolutely hate working at home, but I'm dealing with what I've got like most of us out there. Like a lot of people, because they follow me on Instagram and I've been posting bare home workout routines and just different quirky stuff. Like the other day I was doing, um, I, I made like a homemade rope um, exercises by using the bands and a tea towel. So I'll quickly show you. And you get a tea towel. And basically I was doing homemade ones of these. Look at that, and people were like, oh my God, the creativity is crazy. It looks like you found a passion for training at home. No, I haven't. I just do what I have. You know what I mean? I, I personally will always feel like home workouts are just not the best. Because for me personally, the motivation is smaller, less than when I'm in the gym. And it's just, it's just not as enjoyable. But at the end of the day, what else can you do? If the gyms are closed and you want to try and stay in shape, training at home is the only other option I have. So that's what I'm making do with it. But the answer is no. I will never choose to train at home instead of the actual gym. Just think of it this way. The man himself, Goku, rarely ever trained at home. He preferred flying off to other planets and training with King Kai, Master Roshi. He did not stay at home with his wife and kid, not once. He decided to go out there and make those gains. <laughs> What are the best foods to eat when trying to bulk? There is no specific food. All I can say is you eat calorie dense food, especially if you're someone that has a very small appetite. Try and eat foods that are higher in calories. And I'm not saying typically eat McDonald's and burgers. I'm talking about like for whatever meal you typically would have and just add calories to them. Like, uh, foods like salmon, which is higher in calorie. Like salmon and pasta is a very high calorie meal. Very enjoyable and still on the kind of the gym kind of wave. But in reality, there's, there's no specific one food item that I can tell you is going to be best for bulking. It comes down to what foods you enjoy and you afford it and like what your calorie goal is for the day. Like I can bulk on like 2,400 calories and I can gain weight. You know what I mean? When I eat more than 2,300, I start gaining weight. So that's, um, that's what I can. If you're on 4,000 or 3,000, you've got to then plan out what you normally eat in a day and see where you can add calories in, potentially either adding volume to the meals you already have or then finding more like high calorie snacks you can mix in. Am I specifically worried about losing muscle during quarantine? The answer is no, purely because when you earn it and you've done it manually, you know how to get it back. In reality, what you'll lose is maybe like, depending on how long it is, maybe one to three pounds of muscle, but the time it takes to get it back won't be that long. You know what I mean? It's, it's harder to build it from scratch. But if you've previously had it, it's kind of like muscle memory. It will come back pretty quick. So I'm not really, I don't really stress that. Like I'm not training every single day. The most thing I'm doing right now is probably trying to use the treadmill every single day or at least do a long walk purely because that's staying active. That means more than just lifting weights because if you didn't know this, lifting weights isn't that much of an aerobic exercise. It's more just for muscle stimulus. So you, your version of staying active shouldn't just be lifting weights in your house. You're not moving much, you know what I mean? That is not as much as if you was to walk or leave your house. So I specifically are prioritizing this period, walking. I'm not gonna call it cardio because I'm not running on the treadmill. I'm literally just walking as I watch YouTube, to simulate me walking as I would outside if I'm, if the outside is too cold. Um, so that's the kind of thing I'm doing. And then obviously I still try and train, still I eat a high protein diet. But I'm not really stressing that there's much more important things going on right now than, than thinking about muscle loss or muscle gain at this point, in my opinion. Uh, if you're someone that's competing or was going to compete fairly soon, it's probably a different scenario. But a lot of you watching me are just beginners. So at the end of the day, just train when you can. Try not make it consume your life. Try not flipping go and turn yourself nuts over this stuff. It's not that worth it. Anyways, people, thank you for checking in to this Q&A, this question and answer with TJ. Uh, I'll probably do maybe another one in every, I don't know, maybe two weeks time from now or do just random videos that we do like this. Can you do lives on YouTube? If you can, I may try to do one of those. 
this is the period now where I'm not really super focused. I'm pushing out mad fitness content. If you want that, go on my Instagram because I've got loads of clips up. I just want to try and communicate with you guys, see how you guys are doing, throw some personality in the videos, and you know, try and be personal. At the end of the day, this for some of us is the, the most personal we're getting with watching people's YouTube and Instagram content and using social media to stick together. Anyways, I'm gone. I'm about to go on the treadmill myself and get my 4,000 steps in. Deuces.